Was that a crack pipe? It's handmade, whatever it is. I didn't dig it up, it was just laying there. I didn't think I was gonna get this one out of there. Ring up a 12, there's a huge root right here. <laughs> started digging on that side, couldn't find anything. Started digging on this side, I could feel it, but I couldn't dig, so I had to scrape my way into this hole underneath this giant root and found a war nickel. I was hoping, since it was so difficult to get to, that it was something good, and my timer's going off on my watch. See, that looks like a P. Doesn't look silver because it's yucky at the moment, but it definitely is. It's got the P. I don't even have to look for the year. I can see the 40 something though, but anyway. More nickel. Finally got something as my alarm's going off. I'm so happy. <gasps> Holy crap. <laughs> I think, did I get anything at all today? I don't think I've even turned my camera on yet today, but there's a more nickel. Well worth it. All right, I'm gonna, let me see what time it is. Oh, stop. 11.41. Oh, there's me and my boys. 11.41. I think go another 10 minutes. Moving on. I've discovered that somebody is watching my videos. When I went to the park today, I went to an area I hadn't been in along the tree line, and I saw plugs all over the place, right under the trees. I'm like, I know I haven't been here. <laughs> I was at the other end doing the trees, and I showed what park it was and where exactly I was along the tree line. I still found the um, war nickel. There we go. I can't remember what it was. I still found the war nickel that they missed underneath one of the roots. It was very difficult to get to. Okay, moving on. Okay. <sighs> Looks like it might have been a pendant. Got like a little hole on the top. Can't really see what it is. It's getting dark. But we'll check that out when we get home or at some point in time anyway pretty cool I think it rained I thought it was a 19 but my machine says it's a 12 when it's out of the ground so there we go moving on God weedy. it's in pretty good shape ah 36 that's the year my daddy was born nice found something I don't know what it is I was expecting a bottle cap but it looks kind of like a knot I'm gonna have to wash it off to see, but it's probably just a balled up piece of foil. I don't know, maybe a piece of chain or something. I have no idea. We'll figure it out when we get home. Something decent though, I think, maybe. I don't know. Back again, I'm hoping that you can see how much it's thawed. If you look around the trees, you can see there's actually dirt. No snow there. There is snow up towards the corner. There's snow in the middle where there yesterday there was none. Still some snow over here. The trees over here I was doing, no snow. So, so far I've got a, what did I get? I have a wheat penny. I have a silver, what do you call that nickel? <laughs> a war nickel. And I think that's all I have so far. So I'm hoping I can find at least one more item to make a good video for you guys. Sun is shining. It is 52 degrees, New York State. Let's bring up a 19. It kind of looks like part of a keychain. An old keychain. Something in the middle. I thought it was just a bottle cap when I first got it. It's definitely some kind of a decoration, maybe. Not really sure. We'll see what that is when we get home, if we can get that cleaned up. Oops. All right, it was pretty deep, but it was under the root. Of course, aren't they always under the root? <laughs> All right, that's it. Move, oh, my other hole here I didn't get to finish because when I put my detector down over here, it started buzzing, so I had to check and see what it was before I lost the spot. That might not even have been what I was after. All right, I'm gonna get back to you. It's too hard to do a live dig and hold the phone. Property management, yada, yada, yada. Yada, yada. All right, way under this root, of course, always under the root was a 12. This is what I got, I have no idea what that is. Bent out of shape, obviously. Thought well, maybe it could have been a ring, but I don't know what that is. Looks like it was probably flat at one point. 
I have no idea. Part of an instrument, maybe? I don't know. We'll check it out later when we get home. It's definitely not a gold ring, though. <laughs> or a nickel. It's not a gold ring. It's not a nickel. Moving on. Let's bring it up to 12. Dug up under the root. And here it is. I thought it was gold. But it's certainly the right color. That's one of the Alex and Annie charms. Can't quite read what that says. But Alex and Annie. And yes, it looks gold, but I don't think any of their things are really gold or silver. I think you pay for it just because of the name. I don't know, Mad with Love or Made with Love. It might be a heart or a flag there. I'm not really sure. But that's really cool. I'm glad to get that. I haven't gotten any decent jewelry in a while. Not that that's real decent, but I'll take it. All right, jewelry, yay. Moving on, find of the day. Actually, of the week, I think. Beautiful silver spoon. Look at that. Ran up all over the place. <laughs> I thought I was going for a quarter, but I just couldn't find it. And then it seemed like it might be a silver dime. It's definitely silver. Yep, something. Well, I can't quite read it. Something sterling. But, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Something sterling. That's all I can see. But what a gorgeous spoon. Too bad this part's bent. Can probably fix that easy. As you know, I like to use my silverware that I find. That is gorgeous. Find of the week. Find of the long time, actually. Got many silver plated spoons, but I haven't got many silver ones in a long time. That's gorgeous. Beautiful. Very happy with that. It's gonna look gorgeous all cleaned up. So fancy too. We can probably get that fixed easy enough. At least it didn't break. Boy, I had a heck of a time finding it. I can't believe it was up there. Well, it was down quite a ways, as you can see. Let me show you my whites. Almost all the way. Let me just stop. Oh God, I can't move. Get another scan to make sure the hole's empty. Damn, that's beautiful. Really, really love it. I love finding these old silver spoons. They're so cool. Oh, there goes my alarm. Darn it. <laughs> I hate my alarm. Awesome. All right, moving on. I'll show you. Rings up. Turn the back light on. There we go. See, I thought I was getting a quarter. 27, 28, 29. And I turned it. It was down quite a ways. But boy, am I happy with that. All right. So if there's anything else in the hole, and moving on. So got something interesting. Ring up 17, 18, 19. No, it kind of looks like a part from a dart. It's a little dark out. That's after work. Sorry about all the jumping around. Looks like a dart piece. Holes in it. Really dark here. I'm sorry about the lighting. Get a better picture of it later. But that's pretty cool. <laughs> I've never found a, one of those. I don't know what it is. Piece of dart? Okay, moving on. This rang up in 1920. It was down, geez, a foot. It's a piece of copper. It's wound. This piece was not missing. I rubbed it off somewhere and can't find it. But it looks like it might have been for a bell. Or I, I don't know. <laughs> Take a better picture of it later. It's a little dark out. It's cool looking though. I wish I didn't break it trying to clean it. Okay. I don't know if you can see how deep that hole is. <laughs> oh, it's just a regular freaking penny way down there. I was hoping for something special. And it's not even a uh, wheat. Damn. It was so far down. <laughs> I thought for sure I had something good. Almost 
as long as my uh, digger. All right, well, that was the last target of the day. <laughs> Moving on. That's fine. The last few days, it's a wheat scent. All over the place, too. 26, 27, 31, 32. And, of course, I can't see the date. Too muddy. We've been really lucky. We had a gorgeous thaw today. It's 50-something degrees today. I cannot see what that is. I know it's a wheat scent, though. I'm starving, but I had to stop and swing because hubby said I could. I had extra work today, so I couldn't get out. Oh, 1940 what? Probably a 44. I get a lot of those. All right, moving on. I think I found a silver quarter. It's pretty dirty looking, but when I rub the edge, you see that? That looks like silver to me. I'm thinking it is, but I can't see the ear. can't see it. Like it's worn off completely. But I'm not sure. I'm not 100 percent sure, but that sure does look like silver on the edge. Definitely looks like silver. I'm gonna say it's silver until I can get home and check it out. Alright, and it was not deep. Two inches maybe. I'm calling it silver. Okay, oh, is it a, oh, maybe not, is it a 67? Maybe it isn't, looks like a 67, but sure looks like silver to me. Holy crap, so close. All right, we'll check it when we get home to be safe. Moving on. Just found, whoops, where'd it go, a wheat penny. It was not too far from the quarter, the quarter was over there. Met a real cool guy, he runs Delhi here in Saratoga. He gave me permission to do his property and he says he has a metal detector and he just might do it with me someday. Can't make out the year. Maybe you can. But I'm going to move on because I'm on limited time. So we got a quarter. We got a wheat penny. Yay. Now you got a piece of harmonica reed here. That's pretty cool. Broken. Ring up, what was it, a 1718, I think. I was expecting a pull tab. Better than a pull tab. All right, moving on. It's a key. That's all I got all the way down there. I, it was not ringing up a 19. It was really high. I was hoping for a quarter. All right, moving on. So is that a crack pipe? It's handmade, whatever it is. I didn't dig it up, it was just laying there. I didn't think I was gonna get this one out of there. Ring up a 12, there's a huge root right here. <laughs> started digging on that side, couldn't find it. They started digging on this side, I could feel it, but I couldn't dig, so I had to scrape my way into this hole underneath this giant root and found a war nickel. I was hoping, since it was so difficult to get to, that it was something good, and my timer's going off on my watch. You see that, it looks like a P. Doesn't look silver because it's yucky at the moment, but it definitely is. It's got the P. I don't even have to look for the year. I can see the 40 something though, but anyway, more nickel. Finally got something as my alarm's going off. I'm so happy. <gasps> Holy crap. <laughs> I think, did I get anything at all today? I don't think I've even turned my camera on yet today, but there's a more nickel. Well worth it. All right, I'm gonna, let me see what time it is. Stop. 11.41. Oh, there's me and my boys. 11.41. I think I can go another 10 minutes. Moving on. Okay. Looks like it might have been a pendant. Got like a little hole on the top. Can't really see what it is. It's getting dark. But we'll check that out when we get home or at some point in time anyway pretty cool I think it rained I thought it was a 19 but my machine says it's a 12 when it's out of the ground so there we go moving on God, weedy. it's in pretty good shape ah 36 that's the year my daddy was born nice Found something, I don't know what it is. 
I was expecting a bottle cap, but it looks kind of like a knot. I'm going to have to wash it off to see, but it's probably just a balled up piece of foil. I don't know, maybe a piece of chain or something. I have no idea. We'll figure it out when we get home. Something decent though, I think, maybe. I don't know. Looking to see if there was any writing on it. There's nothing. It's probably supposed to be flat. I'm sure it got bent out of shape being in the ground. No idea what that is. This looks like a bead because it looks like there's a design on it. I don't know what that is, or even if that's the right way. Oh, right, that kind of looks like a face. Eyes, I don't know, maybe a tiger upside down. No idea. It's copper though, so it's probably a copper bead. Still dirt inside. This is junk. Junk. And key and the uh, Part of a harmonica reed. <laughs>